Hi Aquarius, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world in English language. So please subscribe to my channel. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Aquarius people that what will happen from 15th of April till 30th of April 2023. What I'm going to do, what, what, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to pull out a spread uh, and we'll see what will happen uh, uh, in the second half of April for you overall. And after that, in the same video, I'm going to pull some love messages for you from Wisdom of the Oracle. So watch the video till the end so you get all these messages. Let's start with Tarot Aquarius. Okay. Messages for Aquarius, 15th to 30th of April. Messages for Aquarius, 15th to 30th of April. Messages of Aquarius, 15th to 30th of April. Messages for Aquarius, 15th to 30th of April. Messages for Aquarius, 15th to 30th of April. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So, uh, it's interesting. You have options right now, Aquarius. For some of you, option in people. And for some of you, option in jobs or work or... You are on a crossroad of some kind in some area of your life. Now look at this. We have two kings here together. King of Pentacles, King of Swords. And then above that, we have lovers. Again, you on a crossroad. Two people underneath. So, <laughs> underneath we have Three of Cups. So, look at this. Three of Cups, two Kings, and above that is lovers so uh it's like you making a choice it doesn't mean that it's not necessary that you have some uh two options in love uh for some of you it can it can be like you have two options in love or uh you have to choose one person don't worry about the gender uh, these are just energies uh, so um it's like uh you are on a crossroad, some of you are on a crossroad uh, or on a verge of making a decision in your love life. And for some of you, you are uh, on a verge of making a decision in your job or business or work. Uh, you have been um, strategizing a lot, planning. You have been uh, recently, you have been really logical. So you are doing two plus two and logic and not being emotional at all, at, uh, even cold at bits. Uh, and you have been making some kind of strategy. For lots of you, it can be about work and finances. But for some of you, it can also be about your existing marriage, if you are married or you getting married. So it's a very tricky combination, but you know what I mean. So it's going to be, these are general readings, so it will, uh, of course, uh, different for different people, different situations and different areas of life. But you are, in short, if I sum it up, you are on a crossroad to make some kind of decision in a very important decision in which you have some options. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to take a path. You are on a crossroad to take that path. But I think you haven't uh, made the decision right now because you are not uh, completely sure about it, uh, about it. You don't have complete clarity about it. You have been planning and strategizing whatever you are up to or you want to do, but you are not um, making the decision right now because you are not sure. Okay, that was interesting. 
you're also bored in life. Four of Cups here. For some of you, maybe you rejected somebody or somebody rejected you in some area of your life. So you feel rejected or you are overall bored. That okay, nothing is happening. What should I do? For some of you, you have some options around you in some area of your life, but you're not interested in those options. So that gives you some kind of dullness that, okay, I have my eye on that opportunity. Why isn't that opportunity coming towards me? Something like that. Now, moving forward, first we have page of wands. You're going to be very lighthearted and relaxed and easy in the second half of April. You'll be uh, like uh, online a lot maybe or uh, you'll be flirting a lot for some of you and uh, you'll be like waiting for something. I think uh, there is also waiting for some kind of communication from somebody, from a company maybe, from person maybe in love or uh, some communication you will be waiting for firstly and and you'll be light-hearted you'll be enjoying you'll be free-spirited you'll not be uh, like um, it's not like that you'll be uncomfortable or something you'll be comfortable you'll be feeling lighter and then we have ace of swords so I think the clarity you need is going to come maybe in the last week of April. Uh, by the end of April, you are going to get some kind of clarity, maybe the clarity you need. And you are going to do something. Some of you are going to cut something or somebody out of your life or some situation. It can be any situation. Uh, because you're going to get clarity and you're going to power through. There will be some communication which is going to be decisive in some area of your life. I'm not going to pinpoint the area because these are general readings and especially this is the general part of the reading. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. So, we don't know in what area we cannot pinpoint of thousands of people. So, of course, uh, you will resonate it as it's it's like linked to your life but there is going to be clarity and some of you are going to cut something out of your life and some of you will just get clarity and move forward with that okay now let's pull some love messages for you from wisdom of the oracle okay love messages for aquarius 15th to 30th of april love messages for Love messages for Aquarius, 15th to 30th of April. Love messages for Aquarius, 15th to 30th of April. Okay. Wow. Serendipity. Aquarius, for some of you, something magical is going to happen in your love life. I know I'm being a little bit dramatic but serendipity is a very magical energy it can be anything maybe it's just in 5d or something like that you will get a vibe or you'll feel but something magical something it can be energetic also but i don't know you are gonna feel some wave in your body and soul regarding your love life uh, in the second half of April. It can be any kind of wave or any kind of, I don't know, epiphany or realization, something magical. Maybe you'll see a sign or maybe something will happen. I don't know. It's, it, it looks very magical. And uh, like the stage or the, the the outlook of your love life, that's going to change because we have a change in the wind in the background. 
So there is going to be some very magical change in your love life. I don't know what's going to be that uh, because it's going to be different for different people. But it's magical. It's, it's like universe is doing something and telling you that I'm universe and you're just human. Something magical, something good, something positive. I have a very positive vibe, vibe from this. Uh, love messages for Aquarius. 15th to 30th. Oh, look at this. I It was in the background and I pulled it out. It's the same card. A change in the wind. So, isn't it magical? What you just saw, I shuffled the deck in front of you and we were discussing the change in the wind in the background, bottom of the deck. And now then I shuffled and it came again. So what does that mean? It means that that's going to happen what, what it's saying. And it's saying a change in the wind so uh, I'm not gonna go in into this detail because it's it was very uh, I don't know magical that it happened so I leave it up to you but there is gonna be your love life is gonna change whatever is going on in your love life that's gonna change magically uh, in the second half of April, something, I don't know, it's going to take a turn. I don't know what turn, uh, but it's like uh, something is going to be changing. So you'll see a change. So if you are four of cups, you are bored and you are like feeling that, okay, nothing is happening and what is this? Don't worry. That's going to change in the second half of April. Please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.